Welcome back, guys. Today we are in Beijing, China at the CCTV Tower. It's one of the largest structures here in Beijing. But before we get into that, we actually started our day by doing something a little bit different. A lot of people don't know this, but at the base of the CCTV Broadcasting Tower here in Beijing is a little hidden aquarium. It's called <laughs> Underwater World. It's no frills, but really offers a lot for its size. Yeah, it's not a huge aquarium, but with that being said, I was, it exceeded my expectations, I'll say that much. They had this underwater tunnel. That actually was definitely my favorite section. You go through this underwater tunnel and they have all these huge fish. I mean, stingrays, barracuda, sharks, all these different types of fish swimming around. They feel so close that you could almost reach out and touch them. At one point, we ran into this turtle. And I feel like the turtle was, was just kind of staring at us. It was so creepy. <laughs> it was like self-aware or something. I think he's just kind of like looking at us like we're looking at him. We were kind of waving at him and I'm- I He waved back. Yeah, at one point I I'm pretty sure he waved back at us. <laughs> There's also this little pond. Nothing in there is very like glitz and glam, but there's this little pond filled with koi fish and they're called baby fish because you can pay a little bit of money and get a baby bottle with like a little like rubber nipple <laughs> and they'll eat food out of it. I didn't expect them to like grab on so strongly. Yeah, you it was Robbie almost pulled one out of the pond. Yeah, like this thing like latched onto the baby bottle and like would not let go. It was kind of like feeding a really strong baby. That's I think fish. babies are really strong. <laughs> I also really liked the jellyfish exhibit. They're such like weird creatures. Well, but... they're drifters. They don't have brains. Yeah. They, they're like 99% water or something crazy. I think that section is very well done because a lot of jellyfish are um, translucent yeah. and transparent. So they color them with light. We decided to visit the aquarium first because it closed right at 5.30 or 6, mm -hmm. um, which is right about the time of sunset and we timed it that way so we can go up to the observatory deck and see the view in daylight and also at night. When you take the elevator up to the 22nd floor, you'll arrive at an open air observatory deck. It's really awesome and I think we got there just at the right time. This is so cool. We got to see the size and scope of Beijing during the day and then at night, you know, it just the whole city just looks like like a giant Las Vegas or something. I've always loved Beijing at night just because neon lights are kind of like their thing. <laughs> <laughs> As it turned to night, it definitely got cold up there. I feel like I got a little bit of frostbite, honestly, but it's okay, it was worth it. I got some really cool like long exposure photography up there. If you do want to take a trip up to the outdoor observatory, it'll run you roughly 90 yuan which translates to about $12. Yeah, so not that bad considering going up to the Empire State Building costs you like 75 bucks. Once you've seen the outdoor observatory deck, you can make your way down to the 19th floor. There they have kind of like the history of CCTV, how it came about. So you may be asking yourself, what does CCTV stand for? It stands for China Central Television. This is China's biggest broadcasting network. It's got like 15 channels. They've got like a music specific channel, a news channel, a um, lifestyle channel, cooking channel. They've got like everything. And if you're at all interested in the history of Beijing, there's little plaques all around the observatory. If you look down, read a little blurb on Tiananmen Square, read a little blurb on um, Quanjidu, which is the best place to get Peking duck. I think they might have invented it. Another one about the biggest uh, Buddhist temple here in Beijing. So look down if you get a chance. They have this rotating diner that's on the 18th floor. You can sit down, eat, and get an amazing view of Beijing. If you do decide to dine in the tower, it's pretty pricey, but the food is good. And also if you come at lunch, it's quite a bit less money like it's I think almost half price driving by it during the day kind of looks like any space needle kind of thing at night it looks like a big red lantern 
Well guys, that is all for this video. We hope you enjoyed taking a walk through the CCTV tower and the aquarium here in Beijing. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like, share, and subscribe buttons. If there's anything we missed, make sure to include it in the comment section below. But that is all for now. I'm Robbie Frank. This is my girlfriend, Kathy Zen, and we will catch you next time. Bye.